Hello guys, it's Kevin here. Today I'm so excited to review a new microphone. This is the new Deity V Mic D4 Duo. Wow, check it out. I am really intrigued, especially meant for content creators and vloggers. To give some context, most shotgun microphones I have are unidirectional, whereby it can only record the audio that's in front of the camera. Whereas if I'm narrating from behind, such as this, it will not pick up my voice. So that's really wasted because I have so many things I wanted to share when I'm showing a scene, but I'm speaking behind the camera, whereas the microphone is only capturing the front. To combat this issue, Deity has created what I think is a revolutionary idea. It, it has a dual microphone, one at the front and the back. Wow, check it out. This is what it looks like, guys. It is a shotgun microphone too, but you can clearly see there are two ends of microphones. I honestly thought that no one would make this product because I have been suffering so much when I'm trying to twist my shotgun microphone to the back and the front when I'm videoing recording, but now it seems I don't have to. This part of the longer side is meant to be in front of the camera, whereas the shorter part is meant to capture your voice behind. Since it knows that you're nearer, it lowers the decibels by 10. More details of the microphone can be seen right here. Honestly, it is very similar to most shotgun microphones I know in terms of build-wise. It comes with its own cable too, a nice yellow color, followed by two separate wind muffs, one for the front and one for the back. So yeah, uh, I have to say this looks like a giant bow. I'll probably not attach it if I'm somewhere that is not windy at all. It requires no batteries and is totally powered by your camera's batteries. So what makes me really intrigued about this is even though there are two microphones, you can control between making it use two sides or one side, all by this toggle right here. You can see there's a switch to utilize two or one, just by one switch. And ta-da, right now it is using two. And if I toggle it back, it will only use one side of the front facing. So that's very handy when I want to control amount of noise. Without further ado, I'm going to show some tests between the single and the dual microphones. Alright, so I will be asking you some questions All right. and you know you answer me. Right, so the first question is, what are the top three things to bring to Malaysia? Firstly, you're going to need an umbrella because it rains sometimes in Malaysia really heavily. I think you could also bring a pair of slippers because it gets a bit wet too when it rains or especially if you're going for nature, you don't want to get your shoes dirty. And lastly, please bring some block. It is really, really sunny and hot in Malaysia all year round. Don't get sunburned. Yes, let's protect ourselves from those UV rays. Yep. What are your favourite movies? One of it is the comedy White Chicks. Honestly, it's my top favourite since I watched it when I was 10. It's really funny. Second is the cartoon, The Incredibles, the first one, not the second one, because I think the first one was a bit more original and funny. <laughs> okay, we're taking turns now. Let's see how it goes for the other person. What are some of your favorite anime? I know you love to watch lots of anime. Okay, people think I'm some anime freak, but slow down, you know, I just like a few. So number one would be Death Note. Yep. Um, Naruto. Oh, that's a classic. My favorite Naruto. Hunter times Hunter, Attack on Titan, Erased, and Kengan Ashura. Wow, that's a lot. Yes, have filtered already. <laughs> and when have you started watching anime? I think I started watching Naruto when I was 13. So, yes, it's probably that's why how I grew to continue to watch more and more. Well, we're gonna do tongue twisters, so both of us are gonna speak at the same time. Let's see how the microphone picks up for two speakers. You can a can as a can a can can a can. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. <laughs> Alright, I am now outside my front yard. I thought I to test this microphone outdoors. I have the furry wind muff both on the front and the back. And I'll be rotating back and forth to narrate and also to show my face to see whether does the outdoor wind affect the quality. Right now it's going to rain really soon. You can see the sky is turning dark really fast. And luckily it's not really that windy. So let me know in the comments below 
if the quality is affected by the outdoor wind. Oh hello, right now I'm behind camera and I thought I'll show you some of my favorite flowers in the garden. This one in particular is the bonsai with this really sweet smelling tiny white flowers. It's, it's almost like jasmine. So yeah, I'm literally just turning the camera back in front and using just one mic to be able to handle both sides of the camera. I think it's really handy. I don't have to keep turning it. It's really useful. Here we have some aloe vera growing and to be honest, I am really tempted to cut it but I'm not sure how it will be to see the gel inside. It is now raining very heavily and loud sounds coming from this roof. The perfect opportunity to gauge this sound balancing. Is the rain louder now or is my voice as equally loud? This is uh, the natural setting that I left it at and it has been raining almost every day. Honestly, monsoon season is here. So I'm testing the microphone now in an outdoor area. We're in this cafe. Hi Sam! So we are in this cafe called Aperture. Look how many plants there are. It's literally like a nursery here. And I love how there's sunlight coming through. Very light and breezy too. Long time no see? <laughs> and I'm still singing. <laughs> oh gosh. Video. That's the only update you have for this video. Can you describe what is your favorite coffee? Espresso, brew. As long as it tastes nice. Okay, that's a very good description. Imagine if like a microphone can pick up whispers. That's scary. Really? Then you can hear everyone's whispers. So this cafe has a nursery attached to it where you can adopt plants when you buy a pot of tea. Oh, this one, right? Yeah. Any plants that caught your attention? The bigger the better, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love this place, guys. It's so... It's like a rooftop of a cafe exposed. Oh, that's a Christmas tree, right? Is this a Christmas tree, guys? Probably a mini one. So now I'm wearing the mask. I don't know if you guys can hear. Is it affecting the audio quality? Am that's I being muffled? Voice testing. Yeah, I am testing the quality. I hate wearing the mask, guys. It, it makes my voice a bit softer and muffled. Sad. Do you generally have plants? If you come to my house, it's like a forest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. My dad actually built all like fences to keep the snakes out. So you have snakes in your garden? It used to be. Oh, wow. Okay, that's scary. Wow, that was really interesting. For the first time, I feel like I can now comfortably shoot a video of having two people without twisting my microphone front and back. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I feel that it is really decent. However, the sound gets a little bit hollow if I'm far away from the camera and you can clearly hear the audio channels left and right. There's a surround sound where the two microphones appear as two separate channels. So that's the interesting part because when you input it into your video editing software, you will see two audio channel tracks and you can tweak it manually based on who do you want to sound louder or softer at that moment. The next test I will do is to compare the front facing microphone with the famous Rode Video Micro. I also have it right now attached. So let's do a test and see how it compares. Right, we are now using the Deity front facing microphone only. I've switched the toggle to the one side and I'm about maybe one meter away from the camera. Once again, testing, testing, one, two, three. This is the Deity microphone. You are now listening to the Rode Video Micro microphone. Again, I'm about one meter away from the camera and I have set the audio levels to 15 for both of the tests to make it standardized. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Honestly, I thought that both the cameras sound very similar. It's very uncanny, guys. The Deity does hold up really well for the front-facing camera. And if you notice, it actually is much more fuller and has more depth compared to the dual microphone. But for me, I prefer the sound of the front-facing microphone compared to the dual. If you hear back again, you will see the difference. In my opinion, the dual microphone sounds a bit strange, a bit washed out or hollow. Maybe you're like in a tin can. Probably it's up to the editor to tweak the audio channels to make it perfect. But I think now that will require more work. 
but at the same time, you have more options. Overall, I am really happy to try out this new product from Deity. I think it is revolutionary. I can now vlog comfortably without twisting my microphone back and front. Do I recommend this product? Actually, yes, I do. But you have to keep in mind that you need to put in more effort to tweak the other channels to sound better. Otherwise, it can be a little bit strange. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!